All right, hi everyone. Uh, okay, so welcome into this new um video. All right, so I've been away for quite some time. Um, yeah, so I've been working on some few things, but uh, I'll be uploading every Sunday. I'll just come back to my schedule, so I'll be uploading every Sunday during these times, right? So the next video will be uploaded on Sunday, right? Um, and I don't want to keep this video long, so I'll just go straight into it. Um, so if you're new into this channel or this is your first time watching our video, welcome and please just hit the subscribe button and leave your comment below. Question, um, whatever that you like to leave below, right? Uh, let's just get into it. So, um, today I will be looking at one of the okay, I said the greatest, it's actually supposed to be the biggest mistake that traders make, right? What keeps most people like this one, I'm sure of it. What keeps most people um, not profitable, right? So there are many things that they've been looked at um, and they're said to be the biggest of them all that keep people not profitable, unprofitable, right? But this one is probably one of the things that already like we've had again and again, but no one really explains it. That's the thing, right? And I'll just um share some like I'll I'll share a screenshot or rather a picture, right? Then we'll come back into this. So I'll be going through this one. Um, I'll be going through this one, and I'll be going through also. So these are the trades that I took some few weeks, but I'll just be explaining what we are talking about today, which is is really risk management right risk management but i'll talk i'll talk to you no it's not this one um it's gbp nzd right so these are the trade that i took the past few weeks right um so let me share this here right so if you can if you probably listen to me um as i'm going through this i'm sure you'll make a lot of changes in your trading like I'm very much sure, super sure. Right, let me just share it quickly. Right, because most traders, especially mentors, they don't talk about their own trading. They don't really talk about their own trading. They don't talk about how many trades they take, how many losses they take, um, and all that. They don't talk about that. And some, actually, they don't tell the truth. Rather, they'll just tell you that, no, um, this is my win rate and all that, which is most people when it comes to that, as after that, they are not really telling the truth. Like for example, traders will tell that their struck rate or rather win rate, yes, win rate is above um 90% and all that. So this is a picture that I took from one of the best traders. Um right, one of the best traders on okay let me just zoom it in a bit on instagram right i won't tell you the her name but she's one of the most profitable traders right now i'll explain this right i'll explain this so i said it's what risk management risk management now this is what happens most traders right they think they need to win all the trades for them to be profitable or some, they even think that they need to win um, at least maybe say above, um, okay, let me just change this. They think they need to win at least above 70% of trades for them to be profitable. Some, they think, you see, the reason is this, they don't know that their mentors themselves, they don't win this, um, they don't have these types of win, uh, win rates. Actually, this is win rate, all right? So they don't know that they are mentors that don't have this um rate of winning, all right? So what happens is in trying to win all trades, they end up making losses. Why? Because they don't, they don't want to cut their, their, their losses. They think, okay, the trade will come back into profit, so they don't cut them. So all this, they are trying to win all trades or at least win as many trades. Like for example, they take two trades. Mm, I wasn't supposed to be here in this picture. Okay, let me just 
go back here. I'll come back and explain this in detail because I, I want you to listen to me. That's why I'm coming to this one. So what happens is um, in trying to win all trades, right, they end up losing trades, right? Like, for example, a person that will enter away here, um, say, say they will enter here selling then the price goes into profit the next thing the price quickly comes back to losses they run they don't have a stop loss then now the price is fluctuated that thing you know the price will come back the price finally comes back remember that they entered away here the final comes back they think okay they feel like the price should now drop or not close what happens the price goes back you know what will happen the price will keep doing this now they are thinking if the price can just come here or close if you've been in, in in this industry, you know what I'm talking about. The price will just keep going. You see, it seemed like it was coming nicely. Then the next thing, it, it's gone. Their entry was here. Now, this is what will happen. As they are holding this loss, they can't take other trades because they are waiting for this to, to come back to profit. What happened? Time is, is lost. All right? Why? Because they are not taking other, tra other trades. So week after week, or actually day after day, they are waiting for the price to come here. The price is now here. Now they are thinking, okay, the price should not pass this level. The price really does this for some time. The more time is lost, they can't take other trades. Why? Because they are running on a big loss. This has happened to me, right? If you have been around, you will know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about. So most traders or rather most mentors, they don't really talk about their own trading as in, okay, this is how many trades I took. I took this number of losses. So most people, they, the most beginners or guys that have been around, but they have not profitable, they think that these guys, they are winning all their trades. It's not true. They are not winning all their trades. Most of them, listen to this one, most of them, they take more losses than wins. But they are profitable. Right. Um, there's a guy. I'll remember his name. Uh, let me just quickly look for his name. But I listened to him. I think it was probably 2022. He actually said this way. He said, I, I actually lose more than I win. One of the, I think um, he's one day record it's i think it's something like plus or minus around a thousand usd one day right this is his record i think it's from where is it from okay but i'll remember him um if i if i don't remember him i'll, I'll probably leave his name on the um like on the like on the um comment sections right now these things you need to know them because some people they they are changing from one strategy to another they are changing from one one mentor to another yes you, you can fix your trading and all that but if you think you will win you want to win all trades for you to be profitable no actually personally i got in i i, I got where now i say i need as much as Personally, it has never happened that I lose more than I win. But let's just say it happens. I've got to a point where I, I would like, I want to, if it happens that I lose more trades that I, than I win, I'll still be profitable. I'll explain that. Right. I'll explain that to you. All right. So the way that guy said this, it was 2022. I paused a bit because I wanted to win all the trades. The moment I see a small red, I'm panicking. I'm thinking, should I close? Should I continue? What should I do? Until I, I understood this, that you don't, win, you don't need to win all the trades. You don't need to win all the trades. All right. Um, okay, let me just explain this quickly. I don't want to keep this video long. I just want to keep it very short. But if you, like, if you fix this in your mind, um, okay, what's that now? I want a blank. Um, I hope I'm sharing this.
Okay, I hope I'm sharing this this screen here. All right, so um, let me explain this here on this. Okay, zoom. Oh God. Okay, so let me just uh, write it here. It's fine. All right, let me just share it here and just use this. I'll just write it here. Um, yeah, Zoom is making a bit of changes. All right, so let's say you took, um, that's why I always say also, you need to take a number of streets for you to know where to stand. Some people, they only take six straight and they want to, um, they, like they want to conclude from this. You can't con conclude from only six straight if 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 you're profitable or anything like you need to take a number of trades a number of trades for you to prove whether you're profitable or not some people they take six trades they win five and lose one they think i know i'm okay but you as i've said you can't conclude whether you 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 won all of them or you lost all of them you can't conclude you need to take a number of trades right now let's say um you took let's say 15 trades even this number is not it's not that much but let's just use it took 15 trades right and you won um you won five. Oh no let me just use this right i'll use these two type of traders i'll come back to what to what i was sharing like it, it's just a game game changer so we have trader a right and trader b and they both take let's say 18 trades all right remember i once asked a question i said which one is most more important strike rate or win rate those are two different things by the way uh, even though some they say it's the same thing but i understand why all right because most people they ask the question of um what is your win rate? Let me tell you just just because a the person they have a high win rate, they, it doesn't mean that they're profitable. Yes. All right. Let's say trader A um take a trade of one is to one. Then this one takes a trade of one is two. Um let's just say five. Right. Now let's say this guy wins. Um, he wins total trade of let's say eleven. This one wins total trade of um six. Right then, this one loses total trade of um let's say five. Right, so this means break even is equal to one. Then this one he loses also to the trade of five. Then break even is equal to um it's going to eleven, it's gonna be seven. Right. Now let's talk about the win rate. This guy win win rate. Is equal to let's see. Uh, let me just calculate it quickly. This guy's win rate is forty percent. Right then, the win rate of this guy. It's eleven. Oh. Uh, This guy wins rate is 60. Let's just round off and say 62. Right, 62 percent. Now, if you ask these guys, most guys, most people they will prefer this guy. They say I know this guy because what he has a higher win rate. That's what they always ask. What is your win rate? What is your win rate? Now let's look at it. Let's look at it, right? Um now this guy he won. 11 trades right 
he lost five. Remember that the so this one is is losing is winning this one. Then this one is um. So this one is winning. What is the ratio? This one is lose. So that means when he wins, he wins this much. When he loses, he loses this much. This one, when he wins, he wins this much. I mean, when he loses, right? When he loses, when he wins, right? So that means now it's going to be what? Let's count his wins. It's one multiplied by 11, right? So it's going to be one, that one here, multiplied by his wins. So that means, okay, so it's going to be 11 multiplied by one, which is equal to 11, 11 R, right? So that's the ratio, right? Then his losses also is going to be this one here. And it's going to be five, let's say five, right? Multiply by one, which is five, five R. Negative five R is total losses. So the total is going to be eleven minus five, which is is six. At least these guys are ahead. This is six R. So this is this guy's win. Now let's come and look at this one. So it's going to be one. Okay, so the wins first five times eleven. Five, five times six, I mean. Okay, it's going to be what, 30? Then losses, it's going to be 1 multiplied by 5, this 5 here. It's going to be 5. Now, total is, so it's negative 5 positive the losses. Total is going to be 30 minus 5, which is 25. Right. So this guy is sitting on 25. This one is sitting on six. This one is sitting on 25. But this guy has 62% win rate. This one is 40%. But this guy is way ahead. Look, he's sitting on 25. This one is sitting on six. Now this, this you can you can put it in, into money. All right, you can put it in, into money. That means this guy is kind of 25% 25% ahead. Not twenty five percent, but twenty five times more than this one, right? Kinda. Um, I don't want to do much in in maths, but just look at this. This guy. Now, what? Which one is the most important between a win rate and a strike rate? This is the strike rate. The most important is the strike rate. That's why you can have people. This guy is profitable, even though he, he lost. Okay, didn't really lose more trade, but he lo he lost more trade than this one. But it's still profitable. Right. It's still very, very, very much profitable. Okay, um, let me just come into this, then I'll I'll go straight into the chat, then it will be done. Now look, let's look at this one. What well, I've said that this lady is one of the most profitable. Like she I think she just bought a, a new car um few spec. Now look, these are 12 trades that she took on Euro USD. 71 trades. Only 19 wins out of 71 trees. Right. Now, just think about that, that this person is profitable, but they only took, um, they only took, they only won 19 trade out of 71. Then look at these losses. Losses, 29 losses. So he actually lost 10 trades more then the wins, then 23 break, break even. So the biggest number here is losses. The, the next one is break even, the smallest is wins. But this person, the total ratio is 162. That means this person takes something like one is to five, one is to seven, one is to eight. I, I would like to think, because if, if, this, if this is, like it's way too big. So this person, that means they can lose this year, they can lose eight trades. Like they say, let's say they, they lost 10 trades. So it's going to be 10 times um one, which is going to be what? It's going to be 10. So they, 
they lost 10 trades. Let's, let's just say they win three. At times three. It's 24. So imagine losing 10 trades, winning three trades, but you're still ahead. Because 24 is bigger than 10. Imagine. Right. Now, most guys, they like most beginners, not even even if probably not a beginner, but you've been around, they don't want they, like they can't accept losing losing 23 trades out of 71 trades. They can't look at the strike rate. Right. Actually, the win rate of this person, because this is a strike rate. Okay, um I'll I'll be I'll be corrected if if need be. But um of course I don't count Okay, they are break even and all that. Um, let's just separate break even. Let me see. Seventy one minus twenty three is forty eight. Nineteen over forty eight. Okay, I'm getting to the thirty nine percent of win rate. That is, if I separated the break even. But if I don't separate it, the win rate is twenty six percent. Right, but we don't need to be that accurate with numbers. But the most important thing is look at these numbers. How can a person take six, um, so one trades, win only nineteen, the twenty nine losses, but they are still profitable. Now most traders they will not tell you this. They will not tell you that no, I actually lose more than I win, but I'm profitable. So new guys they always want to win, and in that they end up losing. Let's come to, to this one again, fifty fifty three trades. 16 wins, 23 losses, 23 losses. These are mentors, 23 losses, but this person is very much profitable. So the biggest mistake that most traders that are not profitable they make is to think that they need to win all their trades. It's to think that they need to win most of the trades. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. Like, for example, if you can only take trades of one is to six, you don't need you don't need to be your win rate to to um let's let's say you take 10 trades, 10, right? And you lose um let's say you only win three, right? So that means you lose seven and you only won three. So it's gonna be seven times one, which is going to put a negative seven, then three times um six, which is going to be 18, right? So 18, look, you only won three trades, but you are ahead, you lost seven trades, seven trades, but you're still ahead. So until you fix this one, you will still you will always think that I need to to use a strategy. I need to use it. I need to, I need to, no. You don't just fix this. Of course, there is a place where you need to work on your te technicals. I always I'm always working my technicals. I'm always working my psychology. But without this, I, I can assure you. Now most people this is what they they do. They trade without. They don't know their risk reward. You see, so they they. They are just trading. They don't know how much they they they, are, they need to lose and all that. Um, yeah, they they you you no matter no matter how good you are in forex, but if you don't have your stop loss in place and all that, you'll not be profitable. Right. Personally, this was mostly the game changer for me. This was the most the game changer. I think the past two weeks I took how many trades? I think it was nine. I lost three. Then. Of course, at times it will happen that you'll have uh, more wins and all that, and all that. Personally, I always have more wins than losses, but I'm just trying to show you that you don't need to um you don't need to have a high strike rate for you to be profitable. All you need to know is how much do I lose when I lose, how much do I win when I win? That's all. Right, that's all. That's what some people they say risk. 1% and go for at least plus 5%. Personally, I was risking something like 0.3%. I think, I think the maximum I lose, I lost, it was 0.5, it was 0.5%. And 
and then like that is the past three weeks um i lost 0 0.5 percent the maximum is in at once then the wins it was 4.5 percent the maximum that i i won in one trade so this was just one trade and one trade but i was losing something like 0 0.2 and I was making something like 3%, um, 2.8%. You see, okay, the account is a bit big. Um, yeah, I will not say, like I'll not say the numbers, or, but I'm, I'm trading with the profit. Right, so these are just my wins. Most people, they just want to double the account and they end up losing the whole account. If you can just stick with this, it will definitely, definitely be profitable. All right, I've come to the end of this video. If you have any question or any comment, just leave it uh, down below. Oh, I said I was going to come back to this. Oh, sorry. Um, where is it? But uh, oh yeah. So these are the trades I took. Um, some of the trades I took the past week. So this one, the ratio is one is to twelve. So I was risking something like twelve pips and going for something like actually I was going for. I was going for more, but I, I had to cut it at 150 pips. The same thing here, right? The same thing. So the, the, the most, actually, I didn't have an account for two weeks because those guys, they were moving from MetaTrader to, I'm, I'm using Metra, MetaTrader now. So, and I think I was, to, I was going to take some losses here, but I'm very much okay with taking this. So I'm saying that, if you are growing your account by only taking wins, you are not safe. You should be taking losses and wins, but be growing. This is how you should be trading. A win, small loss, small loss, small loss, a win, small loss, a win, big loss, see, small loss, no, small loss, small loss, big win, small loss, big win, small loss, big win, small loss, small loss, small loss, big. You see, that's how you should be trading. Some people, they don't want to take this. They just have something of this kind. What happens, they end up taking something of this kind. It's exactly this. This is how you should be trading. It's exactly this way they are moving. But the overall it should end up here. Right. Um. Let's have a look at the other one that I was trading. This is GP. Let's go to Euro. There are some other pairs, but I want to share these two. I really enjoy these two. Um, and I think I might still enjoy them for quite some time. Okay, this one I took a loss here. I don't know why did I sell this, but it was very obvious that I think as much as I think, no, let me not say where is it going. This was a very late entry, but I had to take it. It's a ratio of one is to six. Mostly I take these personally, I trade. That's why I like to trade a lot of pairs because I want to have more options. I trade, I'm very picky. I don't trade everything, All right? Most people, they, they will want to enter every time because they trade very few pairs. Um, Some is only one pair, so they want to be trading every time on that pair, even if the pair is not giving anything. Personally, I trade only my A plus setup only because I'm aware that I just need to make a big win, big win, big win, and all that. So that when I'm taking losses, I won't be behind. All right. Let me tell you, if you if you if you avoid taking big losses, you'll not lose the account. Let me close with that. All right. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please just leave a comment below. You can share it on your platform if you want. Um, okay, so I'll leave all the comment below, all the links below, the link to my filter gram um and the courses and all, and all that i'll just leave them down below so all these all this setup are sharing them on the um with my student all right we're sharing these with them i will share most of the setup that i take i trace sometimes i trade their setup because most of the guys are very good they know what they're doing right um i'll leave this here let's meet again on the next video or upload.